Hi, welcome to Anywhere Storytime, real books read aloud for children. Great for listening in the car, at home, or anywhere. Go ahead and subscribe so you'll be notified when new books are released. Today we are reading Clifford and the Grouchy Neighbors, story and pictures by Norman Bridwell. Do you like dogs? I'm Emily Elizabeth and my dog is named Clifford. Most people like him. But once we had neighbors who didn't like Clifford at all. Clifford wanted to make friends with them anyhow. Every day he went across the street to visit, the neighbors acted as if he wasn't there. Clifford isn't perfect. He scratches himself as all dogs do. Sometimes his fur would blow into the neighbor's yard. They didn't like that. And sometimes Clifford snores at night. Snort. Even a little snoring bothered them. But Clifford liked them. He liked to listen to the woman singing. Once he sang along, he sang a little too loudly. Clifford couldn't seem to do anything right. When he sat by the fence, the man complained that Clifford blocked the sun from his plants. One day, Clifford noticed that the tree blocked the sun too. He took care of the tree for the man. But the people were not pleased. Clifford had to put the tree back. After that, I told Clifford to stay away from the neighbors. We saw them at the shopping mall. We didn't go near them. Then Clifford saw their shopping cart roll away while they opened their car. He tried to stop the cart. What a mess. Poor Clifford. Poor people. I told Clifford to never, never go near the neighbors again. Clifford stayed on his side of the street. He would sit and watch the man feed the birds. Clifford wished the man liked him as much as he liked the birds. One day, Clifford saw some workmen at the neighbor's house. They were putting in new water pipes. Clifford went over to watch. Clifford could see into the neighbor's yard. Oh, oh, oh no, the birds were in trouble. Clifford knew he couldn't go in the neighbor's yard, so he picked up a water pipe, took a deep breath, and vacuumed the cat right out of the yard. That was a very surprised cat. The neighbors thanked Clifford for saving the birds. He's not such a bad dog after all, they said. Good old Clifford. The end.